Americans used to take a few years to do the grand tour of Europe back in the day, they were on the right track to properly enjoy everything that Europe has to offer, you need a lot of time, we must pick and select what we will see because the majority of us today only have a few weeks of vacation time each year. Today, we'll discuss the top 10 travel destinations in Europe, make sure to like and subscribe for more future videos. Number 10. Athens. When it comes to historical significance, few cities can match Athens. Athenians leave their homes and make their way to neighborhood markets where chess matches on the sidewalk as the sun rises over the smooth marble monuments of the Acropolis and fills the cobblestone streets along its foot. The city seems to be enjoying a pleasant retirement from its heyday as a political and cultural powerhouse as life seems to move more leisurely. But as the sun sets, Athens' contradictions become apparent. Dance clubs play loud rock music amid ancient columns. The dazzling lights of Omonia Square reflect the Parthenon's glistening columns, which are illuminated for all to see. And the air thickens with the aroma of spiced lamb and music from a nearby taverna. Number 9. Venice Venice is magical, although it may sound cliché, you'll undoubtedly agree once you view the city from the water. The stunning Grand Canal will soon welcome you as you exit the Santa Lucia train station. The Ponte degli Scalzi, Bridge of the Barefoot, will be passed by water taxis as they glide by, and you could catch the tiniest whiff of a violin playing softly, or is it just your imagination? It might not just be your imagination. Gondola drivers are known to sing when the occasion calls for it as they glide through the maze of the city's numerous waterways in romantic gondolas carrying captivated couples. On land, winding lanes pass by old-world homes and businesses and cross bridges. You should be aware that being lost is commonplace in this area and that maps aren't all that helpful. Either Accept your sense of confusion or hire a local by joining one of the best Venice excursions. Number 8. Amsterdam. Don't take Amsterdam information at face value. Yes, this Dutch city has a lenient attitude toward prostitutes soliciting customers in the red light district and coffee shops peddling an unconventional form of weed to marijuana users, but these are just the tip of the iceberg. At some time, whether it be over a delicious Indonesian supper, a stroll along a canal at dusk, or a shopping trip through nine little street stores, you'll come to the realization that Amsterdam is much more than you would have imagined. Amsterdam is also great for a romantic holiday for two or an informative outing with the kids. Despite the city's lax regulations against vice seeming to draw a college age, male-dominated clientele. Number 7. Prague. Prague is a thriving city that is getting more visitors than ever, but its charming downtown conceals both a troubled past and a strong one. Prague has endured multiple overthrows, invasions, fires, and floods since approximately AD 870. This reputation for tenacity and endurance is what draws people to the Czech capital. These days, the city's renowned churches, winding lanes, intimidating hilltop castle, and statue-lined bridges make for a picture-perfect urban fairy tale setting. The charms of this city would be hard for even the most weary traveler to resist. Prior to its flashier neighbors to the west, Prague was a hidden gem. Number 6. Swiss Alps. The Swiss Alps, which are south of Zurich, Bern, and Basel, are a haven for people who enjoy winter sports. Although skiing, hiking, and snowboarding predominate in this area, you'll also find charming towns, peaceful lakes, and stunning landscape. Additionally, the area is home to numerous opulent mountain resorts, making it a haven for all kinds of tourists. A journey to the Swiss Alps also wouldn't be complete without enjoying some hot, cheesy fondue. Number 5. Barcelona. Barcelona is home to both historically accurate and outrageously strange elements. This city by the sea appears to draw all types with an almost overwhelming range of things to do. From the picturesque trails of the multicolored Park Güell to the romantic narrow lanes of Baritik. From the beachside nightclubs to the city's hundreds of sacred churches and architectural marvels. You may remain for a few days, but it's more likely that you'll need a week to see everything. Even the beach is busy in Barcelona, but the cosmopolitan city is the center of attention. Las Ramblas, a network of winding streets and alleyways lined with eateries, nightclubs, and a bustling pedestrian market, is where much of the action takes place. Number 4. Florence 
this tiny settlement, hidden among the Tuscan hills, has had a significant historical impact. Firenze, or Florence, the birthplace of the Renaissance, protected the wealthy Medici family and served as a source of inspiration for artists like Michelangelo, David, and Brunelleschi, the Duomo. You might mistakenly believe that you had returned to the 14th century if it weren't for the stylish Italians and upscale stores lining Via Tornabuoni. Florence is not just visited for its Renaissance art, it is also known for its romantic charm, delicious Italian cuisine, and stunning sunsets. Let a local show you around on one of Florence's top tours to make the most of your stay there. Number 3. Rome. Rome, the seven-hilled city, had a legendary beginning. According to legend, the twin brothers Romulus and Remus, who were fathered by a battle god and nourished by a she-wolf, built the Eternal City. And if some historians are dubious about this historic introduction into the globe, most tourists are adamant that Rome has a special quality. Roma never fails to enchant. Whether it's the mystique of the surrounding Vatican City or the ghosts of the Colosseum, a relaxing afternoon coffee on Piazza Navona, or a heaping plate of pasta at a Trattoria. Rome, the capital of Italy, is renowned for its long history that includes the reigns of Octavian, Julius Caesar, and Hadrian, among others. Among other historical treasures, buildings like the Pantheon, the Roman Forum, and numerous churches were left standing. Number 2. London. Travelers discover that one trip to London is insufficient to explore everything this two-millennia-old city has to offer because life there is nothing short of energizing. Here, the ancient and the modern shake hands. Both the cutting-edge Tate Modern and the storied Tower of London can be found here. Shakespeare's Globe and its affiliated Sam Wanamaker Playhouse are venues where you may see both Shakespearean plays and contemporary ones. While Londoners continue to extol the virtues of tea, they now make way for Starbucks and Costa coffees as well as squeezed juice at various locations. London is currently a leader in a wide range of industries, including politics, banking, fashion, and music. It's its cultural compass is constantly set to the future. Take one of London's top tours to discover it all. Number 1. Paris Every year, the City of Light welcomes millions of tourists attracted by its spectacular atmosphere. Of course, the exquisite food and enormous art collections also deserve some of the praise. The city's serene river Seine meanders through it, flanked by grand museums, historic churches, and blocks of Rococo and neoclassical buildings, all of which are further complemented by cascading trees and glistening streetlights. On their way to the market, cafe, or movie theater, the astonishingly stylish Parisians who populate the Seine's cobblestone walkways and beautiful bridges. That's a wrap for today's video. What are your thoughts on our list? Let us know in the comments section below. And make sure like and subscribe for more future updates.